Welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. We're doing a little bourbon hunting tonight on this beautiful Thursday evening. We're at Liquor Barn, one of the finest spots for, in our opinion. I also really want to try the Bond and Lillard. I have, I have too. This is still tempting. It's Knob Creek 18. $182. <laughs> Apparently, it's not great. And we don't love Knob Creek 12. That's the issue. No, I like the high shelves in here. Yeah. It makes it feel like I'm just like immersed in this bourbon world. The other one has like the low shelves they are that like, go up to They here. go up to like here, yeah. Yeah. You get a single barrel, like one of the best constantly findable single barrels. Yeah. Would you agree great, that? great value. You ready? I'm ready. This is trade. This is trade right here. You okay. Jerry got me something. I uh, got him something. We're basically just guessing what it was. We all, we, we saw all the bottles, so we kind of know yeah. roughly. We did a glance. The, we glanced, and there was quite a few bottles, too. There was, there was. I was smelling it when we way over here. It smells kind of good, but I kind of get a little stinkiness to it. A little, like, like cheese, almost. Which isn't what I like in bourbon, necessarily. Oh, man, I don't know. Hopefully it tastes better. Tastes better? Tastes better. First whiskey of the day. It's higher proof. Man. Oh, maybe the glasses are clean? Could also be an issue. <laughs> I don't who knows. With they these wash, terrible glasses. <laughs> they wash these rocks. It's hard to get a nose on a rock's glass. I'm yeah, not gonna it lie. very much A is. one ounce pour, especially. Yeah. It smelled like when I was smelled it on the way over here, very caramely almost, but like with a moldy note to it. Mold? Yeah. It smells like mold and cheese yeah. and kind of looks like the like not. Like blue cheese. Like not, not yeah. like Gouda or something. I've never smelled anything like this before either. It does taste pretty good. It is kind of lacking flavor for as high of a proof it is. Yeah. Like it's it's proofy and it's kind of like sweet. I don't even know where to start. Is this a, some Bardstown? No. No? Close? Smaller. I'm not a big, I'm not a huge fan. Take that and run with it. That I don't like it? Yeah. <laughs> Bro Brothers cask. <laughs> Can't imagine something worse. <laughs> I would say like the same size as them, probably though. I, they only have a very. And I know about them. Yes. Let me tell you. Yeah. Barrel house cask strength. <laughs> you pointed it out, and I was like, I gotta try it just to see <laughs> a if it's better because we have never it tried. It smells horrible. It does. It smells like moldy caramel. It, it smells like they are almost there with the good notes, but it wasn't that. Try some. Pretty bad, honestly. Dude, I, the nose I, is getting worse. I kind of hate it. It's like, yeah. where's the flavor? It tastes like moldy cheese too. A little. That's not good. Sorry to do that. Too. It's all right. Sorry. I had to give it a chance. Yeah. Okay. You don't switch. Them out. I'm not gonna buy a whole bottle of that. So. This is mine now. Nose is okay. It smells pretty good. Very different from that though. That's yeah. could also be, but it smells kind of proofy as well. I'm glad it's different than that. Whoa. That's insanely sweet. Like it tastes like drinking apple juice in the back of it, but mixed with wine maybe. I have a strong feeling you can guess this. With not, a, maybe as with a, as that, not as proofy as that. I don't know the proof, but it's I know it's not as proofy as that. It's not it's not barrel strong. Wow. That would it might be like a hundred or something. That threw me for a loop though. I don't know though. I, I don't not know on the nose as much. Nose is very classic vanilla sweetness, caramel, sugars like that. But then the palate's just literally straight like grapes, wine. Run with that. Buffalo Trace? It is a Buffalo Trace product. Hancock's? No. Okay. And it's close. I have no clue. It's so close though. It's a Rock Hill, it's so close. Elmer T? Yeah. No way. It's Elmer T Lee. It was listed as Rock Hill Farms on the price. Oh. But it, was on Lee. I'll get you better something in the next store. <laughs> it's, all, it's all right. I've always wanted. Wow. I've never had it. I've that always wanted was to like try it. not what I expected. I've had, I think I've had it once before, but not since I've been drinking on the channel. Or it smells come, yeah, very grape wine, very wine esque. Yeah, the finish. Almost like it was finished in a wine barrel. Yes, I, I was gonna go finish before you said rum with grape because I was like that has to be a wine barrel. This was finished it. in wine. That one was finished in cheese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheese barrel. Anyway, it's pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it's I was pretty close. Good. Cool. The first guess, the grapes are grapes galore. I think it's tied first round. 
Yeah, fair. Okay, how much do you leave? We're just talking yeah, secondary, three hundred something dollars. This is not worth three hundred dollars. I don't think it's worth a hundred. I just think you're not getting the proof. There's better Buffalo Trace products. There's a lore, there's a hype around it. Everybody searches for it. I don't think it's worth it. I would prefer the other $50 bottles like Rare Breed. Obviously, a little different comparison. But so Rare Breed is something you can find on the shelf. I can find it anywhere. 10 out of 10 I don't 10 have to pay $15 for a port. Yeah. So, it's okay. I, this also isn't in the Glen. I can't really get a good nose on it. It kind of stinks because maybe the glass isn't washed, but you never know. It's also just absurdly Buffalo Trace-esque. It is. It like is absurdly grapes, Buffalo Trace. White. And if you like regular mainline Buffalo Trace, this is a great like yeah. elevation to that, but not for $300, yeah. not for $100. All right, stop number two. We're here at Total Wine in Hamburg. This is um, the OG Total Wine, I think? I think, so. yeah, because that one used to be Whole Foods, yeah. yeah. So I'm excited. This is... Used to be my home store. Now yeah. Lexington Green is. This is like where you got your feet wet, right? Yeah, yeah. Apparently that's the worst value, right? The worst value? Yeah. 15 years? Everyone hates it. One of the best values. Yep, absolutely. I'd stand by that. I wish it was $25 because we put it in our video. Yeah, no, I thought about it too. And they got some uh, good Starlight selections. Holy, that's a lot. Her fighting cock? What about that one? We got Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond. $53.99. See, that just seems expensive. Yeah. The bourbon junkies hate it. New Riff. We got New Riff. Lots of selections. Well, a little, yeah, a little 105 proof, 107 proof. It's some good stuff. There you go. Maker's 46 cash strength. Always wanted to get it. 60 bucks is just. For, we're not huge Maker's people, is yeah. the issue, too. I have only found I, this product insane. Great. Amazing. So yeah. you'd think this one would be just as good, but I'm scared. Everyone says it's about allow. They got the new Lupix, too. They do have the new base. I, I want to try some new too. Is your Waffins? My, my man's. You're a bigger fan the than I am. The best. You're a bigger fan than I am. It's my favorite distillery by far. Okay, here's the Woodford Baccarat. Baccarat, how you say it? Yeah. Is that tempting any of you guys? That is a, a handmade crystal from France. That's why it's so expensive. Yeah. I, I'm not paying for the bottle when I buy whiskey though. I'm sorry. Anything tempting you today? Anything that we no. saw? No. Are you? I'm tempted by every bottle of whiskey I see. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you, but like nothing, there's nothing in here today that we could have found. That's the most expensive bottle. $2,799. That's crazy. 30 years old. Yeah, that's crazy. That's nine years. I haven't, yeah, like you said, nothing here I can find today that I couldn't find another yeah, day. Yeah, for sure. But there's stuff I would always, I'd like to try that are here. Like, it's still Austin. I've always heard good things about it. All right, stop number three. Now, Liquor Bar and Express. Um, never found anything good here, but some people do on Facebook and stuff. So we'll see what they have. Yeah. They have Knob Creek 18, too. Okay, I guess it's not. A, that's outrageous. Yeah, I wouldn't pay <clears throat> above 64. This was on the, um, the bourbon turkeys list of stuff they're looking for. Triple Sonoma cask. It's actually a pretty good price. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. All wood for stuff. We're talking 90.4 proof. Yeah. I'm, that's hard to spend that much money on that. You want to see something crazy? Look at the price on that. It drops. It's, a, it's almost $500 cheap, $700 cheaper, right? Yeah. Was it $2,300? Yeah. Nothing that like stands out majorly. I mean, that puts to shame the other Jack Daniels section. Oh my gosh. It's my dream right here. Jack Daniels. We should try to make our own. Uh, like that, age that would be a cool sometimes. video to make. But oh, look who it is. Old Dark Hearts. Man, just on the shelf, they haven't allocated the other ones. Yep. What was your favorite out of these? We both said in the video at the time, the, the Barely, Barely Legal. Legal. Yeah. Look, Castle Key right here, not allocated. Is that Fireball in a bottle? Collector's Edition Fireball. So we're 0 for 3 now. 0 for 3, yeah. Nothing insane, but like, you know, I think a lot of people will be surprised by like what we just have regularly. Like, you know, we don't. Oh, yeah. I, I think, think we if, don't have anything special, special, but. If you are not from Kentucky, <clears throat> you would be surprised. You'd be like, wow. Yeah, minis. Minis is a great way to try stuff. I feel like they just put junk in it, though, and it never tastes good. Like, I almost had to spit out a Maker's Mark one of those, which. Really? Yeah. I, I really couldn't drink it. 140 here. How much? It was like 120 somewhere else, right? 129, right? 
Hey guys, sorry our mics have died for this part, but this is the fourth stop we have for the day. This is Liquor Barn in Beaumont, Lexington. Um, this is the table where Liquor Barn puts out all their more allocated or limited one products. Um, as you can see here, we've got some Four Roses tasters, Bard Sound tasters, and some other products um, that we saw earlier. This is their more expensive shelf. We see some Fourgate, some Old Carter, some Bardstown some barrels, spirits. Next, we're gonna walk down the aisle. You know, we can see what we see. They got the whole Whiskey Row series from Old Forester. You know, they've got um, some Maker's Cask 46, some Baker 7, which is really cool to note that it says seven on the bottle, but since it's a single barrel, this one's actually eight years and some odd months, um, six months here, so. That's pretty cool. We got some rabbit hole, all four or five they have there, and some pin hook, which is probably the best selection of pin hook we've seen in quite some time. All right, next up, we're gonna go to the tasting bar and do part two of us trying each other's pours blind. Um, I think you're gonna like what we pick for each other. Again, sorry about the audio, but thanks for bearing with us. It's so awkward. It's so awkward, I hate it. Same thing as last circle barn. Um, Jerry got me something, I got him something, we don't know what it is. We'll do a little guess in the bottle. It smells really good. Really sweet, very caramel, vanilla. It has like a little fake sugar in these two, but not in a bad way. Just like the good fake sugar. Like what's the good one that's keto? Stevia maybe? Yeah. That's interesting. Definitely has some proof. I'm thinking 110 plus. That's right. Between 115 and 120. I've not had anything like this before. Have I had this before? No. Pretty sure you haven't. Have I had products similar to it? Yeah. Cousins of this one. Okay. Or a cousin. It's got this weird note on the nose that I can't quite pick out. Maybe it's honey. Honey esque, like. Um, it had a little funk when I smelt it, but in a in a good way, in not a good like way. it. Yeah, not like the other one. It has like a, a fruity, honeyness, sweet. Like I don't even know what to explain, but mm -hmm. just pure sweetness. I don't know what I got no clue. No clue, don't. Um, Legacy. No. But a big company. Is it foolproof? Seventeen ninety two foolproof. No. Am I like? Is Barton a good guess of? That size, or is it smaller? Bigger? It's smaller than Barton, but it's very, it's it's well known. It's definitely not obscure at all. Mictors? It's on the similar, similar vibe as that. I think this is probably close to a Mictors product you've had. I have no clue. You're gonna have to tell me. It's Old Carter Rye. Oh wow, that is not rye esque. No, it's very. Wow. I, I took a sip. <laughs> definitely not as good as American whiskey or bourbon. No, not even close. Yeah, I don't know, it's not, I mean, it's not bad. It's like, ooh, we like rye, let's try it. it was... Not, I would just say like $200, right, for a bottle? I think so, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But you know, our pour's not a bad price. Though. Not terrible. You know, it's, it's got this weird note to it, but it's not rye. Much lighter than the old yes, uh, Oak Carter. Yes, yes. And it's, I get it to be bourbon, not rye, so it's a little different. Yeah, I should have I should have prefaced that. I was like, eh. Oh, no. It's on the shelf, so. Yeah. Honey, and like, I have mashed and everything for this bottle. Spice? It's like, but not like a good spice. It's kind of like, like pepper, black pepper spice. Very, very light. Mash bill and proof. You mash bill and proof. Okay, well, it's a low proof. I can tell you by that. Tell you that. that color, I mean, that is a light, light go. You have thoughts on proof? 90. Have you, you drink it? No. Okay, I'll let you drink it first. It's higher than 90. By a lot. Why is it so light? What am I drinking? You said 90. I was like, we am drinking that, yeah. Look at the color, though. Yeah, I know. I was very surprised with the color. What does it look like? Proof down. Yeah. Water? Um, it's pretty good. I don't know. 110 proof? Very close. 111. 111. You have some mash bill? It's not super bourbon esque, so kind of spicy. I said spicy earlier. Is it high or high? Yes. Yeah. No? It's a high rye bourbon, because you said it was bourbon already. That's actually what's on the bottle is high rye bourbon. Um, That's why I told you, because I don't, that, I didn't know this. Do what I know is this, this bottle I've had. 
You've never had the bottle, but you know about it. I know about it. Yeah. Put something similar to it? No. I got a lot of honey. The exact mash bill is 65% corn, 30% rye, 5% 5 malted barley. You need any guesses? Give me a good clue. A hint that would be very helpful, but not too helpful. The distillery is close to us, and they're getting an improvement soon. Yeah, how do we? Blue run. You see that nice improvement? Yeah. Well, oh, we'll, duh. We yeah. just didn't talk about that. That's the high rye bourbon. Pretty good. That's good. The color is just on. insane. I, that really threw me off. It's pretty good. So different than that. Like, yeah. I might like it better, honestly. Though. The nose smells extremely light. Like way high. I like that's get not even from the yeah, nose. That's weird. That's interesting. That's so it's so unique. Yeah. And, like not like I've ever had anything like that. Not bad. We well, we forgot to film the intro into this, this uh, store, but basically, this is our fourth and final stop. We did not see anything. They had basically the same things that every other liquor bar we stopped at before. Maybe this a set. little more here. A yeah, higher more price. like of their prices were higher. Yeah, and just like the mainline stuff was more available. Yeah, like there was a couple extra pit and hooks. Yeah, a couple extra so jack nothing, products. Nothing but. crazy though. Knob Creek 18. So that's three out of the four stores we went to that had Knob Creek 18. Yeah, God, um, I didn't buy it the other day because yeah, if you can find it on the shelves, you're not going to be able not to. Not looking good. No value for it. Let us know what you guys think about Knob Creek 18, though. And then also, uh, we tried the four bourbons, or yeah. whiskeys, I guess. And Let us know what you guys think about those. If you're ever in Lexington or in the liquor area. Liquor Barn has the best prices. Go to the Liquor Barn for your pours. Yeah. We've had four really interesting, unique products. For sure. Good prices on most of them. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. This is uh, a video that we've done this for the first time. So let us know what you guys think about it, if you want to see more of it in the future. Maybe we'll actually buy a bottle next we time. We could go a 1,000 other stores in Lexington. Yeah. Um, but these are. Probably favorites. four of the most common we go to, besides whole wine, Lexington Green. But I went in there earlier; they didn't have anything. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.